Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. We have a fun little DAC that arrived on my doorstep. And so we're gonna open it up and look at it. This is a one of the brand new releases um, from last Saturday. So um, yeah, I'm, I think that my husband is way more excited about this one than I am actually because it's the 10th doctor is in the building yeah so I'm gonna be honest when I first saw this come out um, the sneak peek of it or whenever Diamond Art Club like showed it on their Instagram and Facebook pages I was like um, I'm not sure who that's supposed to be, but I did think Doctor Who at first, and then especially whenever I noticed the TARDIS. So, anyway, I sent this picture to my husband, and I'm like, yay or nay, do you want this one or not? And he's like, in all caps, yes. So, then my reply was, okay, are you going to uh, help me work on it? And his reply was, uh, no. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, all right, we'll do what you want to do, but uh, give me a second while I don't stab myself trying to get this opened here with the scissors. And tweezers. That would be less painful, I think. There, at least I can get it started. That works. So, are you guys having a fantastic day? I hope so. It's the weekend is here. It's finally Friday. Free again. Okay. So, yeah, and apparently the 10th Doctor um, is my husband's favorite Doctor. Go figure. So, he was really excited. The box is so pretty. I'm always, like, in awe of how pretty. Look at that little sparkle. It looks like those, those, looks like those wheels are, like, spinning. Don't it? Isn't that so cool? So, this one is a round. If you haven't already noticed... They changed their um, boxes, and all of the round kits have a round circle, and the square kits has a square instead. Very, very nice. Check out the back of the box. Okay. Now, are y'all ready to get into it? Drop me a comment and let me know if you are a Doctor Who fan. So... Back a long time ago when we first started watching Doctor Who, I was like, hmm, I liked it. Like, we did a, I don't know if it was on the sci-fi channel or what, but it was like a, ooh, there's a sticker. And I feel the toolkit. Feel the toolkit. I feel it. There it is. Got a toolkit. And the box is empty. But years ago, or yeah, it pretty much has been years ago whenever... We um, caught Doctor Who on sci-fi or something. Um, I got all caught up in it. I was like, oh my God, I love this. This is the coolest show ever. And then somewhere, I don't even remember where, it, I just kind of like lost all interest. And those little things that run around going, rawr, 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 that tries to kill everybody, that has that god-awful sound that they make. I'm like, yeah, I, I can't deal with those, whatever those creatures are. Okay, here's the toolkit from DAC. I'll open it up real quick. I haven't done that in a while, just in case I've got some new people here on the channel. They'd like to see what the kit involves. You get some baggies, little teeny baggies. You get a blue diamond painting pen. You get a tray with a funnel for your diamonds. You get a multi-placer that you can put on the end of your pen so that you can place three diamonds at once. 
here's the other baggies. You get some little baggies to store your leftover drills in if you'd like to. Um, and then we have this cute little guy. It's a little squishy that goes on the end of your pin so that you can comfortably drill like that. And then you get two little heart plates of wax. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, now you're not, I'm sure you're not here for the toolkit, right? You're here to see this canvas and the pretty drills, right? Okay, let's check out this sticker. Sticker, sticker, sticker. So he's handsome, right? I had to Google the 10th Doctor to see which one it was, and then I was like, oh yeah, I remember him. Um, he is my husband's favorite doctor. Um, but isn't the sky, the planets, this, it's just pretty. Those colors are so pretty. Super pretty. And um, in the picture that I saw on, on the internet, the 10th doctor had um, a brown trench coat. This looks more like a cape. So I don't know if it's supposed to be a cape or if that's just supposed to represent his brown trench coat. And then I do know, my husband even told me this, the rose, because of rose on the show, the tie, if you can see that, is in the shape of a rose. How sweet is that? We have, ooh, wow, 45 colors. Didn't realize that one would have that many colors. All the normal symbols from DAC. Um, yep. This one I call the little boob. This one I call the big boob. <laughs> we have two ABs, 136 and 141. One and two, we'll look at those here in just a second. Um, this is a round, and it is a 20 by 28 inch or 51 by 71 centimeter. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready, Freddie? Is your name Freddie? Okay, plastic off. Drills are here in the middle. Let's pull those out. Wow. Look at all those colors. Brown. A lot of browns. Lots of browns. I love how they package them so nice. Super nice. And they have this labeled here for your convenience. In case your drills get separated from your canvas or in case you um, put them away separately. That way you'll know what this goes with. Um, but there's some of the drill, the ABs. And I'm thinking the other AB is a blue. So we'll see here in just a minute. First of all, let's take a look at the canvas. The canvas, canvas, canvas. Dun, 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 dun. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, here's your paper, I forgot. If you open that up and look, it gives you your instructions if you're a brand new diamond painter, but you also get a 10% off coupon code for your next order. I'm gonna roll this backwards really quickly. Uh, just so it lays out a little nicer. Now, keep in mind when you roll your canvases backwards, you only want to do this with poured glue canvases. You don't want to do it, and with poured glue, you know it's poured glue most of the time if it has a clear cover like this, the clear plastic. If it has that white uh, cover over top of it, that means it's um, double-sided adhesive, and you don't want to roll those backwards to flatten them out because 
you'll ruin the adhesive. It'll end up getting stuck together and you'll create a ton of bubbles and rivers and in turn ruin it. So the Diamond Art Club canvases are always so super soft on the back side. I love them. Okay, are you all ready for this beautifulness? I'm gonna lay it sideways. Whoa. Okay, now I'm gonna go this way and just kind of roll it down. Check him out. Handsome. Even though he has no face, he's still handsome. I know a lot of people are like weirded out by the fact that he may not have a face, but I do know that I read somewhere that this was, this is by Mandy Manzano, by the way, um, if you didn't already know that. Um, and this apparently, she created this back in her um, time when she was in a no face stage. So, um, she loves whenever people like um, give their uh, canvases and her artwork like detail, extra detail. So, you know, if you want to create a face, you can do that. I thought about trying that. I've never done it before, but meh, we'll see. If it don't work out, I can, I can always take off, take them off and put back on there what's supposed to be there. But look at his tie. I love all the colors of the sky or the, the uh, space or what have you. There's his jacket or his cape. It's so big. Can't get it all on the camera. Let me see if I can pull this up a little bit. Hopefully that helps some. But yeah, it's hard to get it all in here. Um, here's the TARDIS. Yeah, very, very nice. Mandy Manzano, in true fashion, always has all these black outlines. Um, and the swirlies. I love that. Um, I really, really like that. It makes it fun for me to work on, too, because I usually when I work in my sex, small sections, I'll do the black first and then go back in and, like, fill it all in wherever I've worked at. It's kind of like coloring the lines, I guess you could say. So, this canvas has a key at the top, and there's one down here at the bottom. Bottom. Again, there are 45 colors. Here's the thumbnail image of what it will look like. And again, it is called the 10th, 51 by 71 centimeter. The artist is Mandy Manzano from Diamond Art Club. I'm gonna check this sticky real quick. I love the sound it makes. And that, that glue is so shiny. Whenever you pull that off there, it's just super shiny. And it's very sticky, of course. Take a look at the drill field. Let's see. Let's check out real quick the ABs we have here. Uh, one and a two. Okay. I see some twos that are outlining his jacket here, or his, um, whatever you want to call that, cape, trench coat. You got some in his shirt there, and in the collar of his shirt, some that go up his neck. Um, um, it looks like there's several sprinkled throughout. There is some down here in the TARDIS windows. And then let's look for the number one, which looks like a blue color to me, like it's gonna be a blue color. Oh, let me see. I'm not seeing anything. 
yet. Hmm. Oh, okay, I see some. Yep, they're in his suit down through here. There's some there. And then looks like There's some over here on the side. So those are just sprinkled throughout. Looks like there's some in the space section, in the orbit or whatever you want to call that. Um, the symbols are always super clear, right? His hair, I like his hair. His hair for whatever reason reminds me of Johnny Bravo. Not quite. Super Johnny Bravo, but kind of Johnny Bravo, right? Hey, baby. Okay. Let me lay this back down this way. Um, I'm not sure where all those ones are at. I'm looking. I'm trying to see if I'm missing any. I know there's several here in his vest or suit jacket whatever that he has on. Um, and there's some that runs down the side of the TARDIS here. I see those now that come down through here. So that'll be sparkly. And the TARDIS should be sparkly, right? Super, super sparkly. Okay. <sighs> I wish that I could get him all in one shot. I'm gonna try to lay him sideways again. See if that helps, but I don't think it will. Nope. He's too big. Almost, but not, oops, not quite big enough. My camera, I mean. Okay. Let's look at these drills, shall we? Oh, pretty, pretty. If you don't like this crinkly noise, Go ahead and stick your fingers in your ears. I happen to love it. Wow. Lots and lots of colors. Lots and lots of colors. Let's start with this one. Oh, here we go. Seven ninety seven is a pretty like royal blue almost. Eight ninety eight. It's a poopy brown. Kind of look like mini chocolate chips. <laughs> eight twenty nine. Is that eight twenty nine or twenty three? Not sure. Four thirty three. Seven ninety nine. Eight twenty. One forty one. There's your. Uh, white colored ABs. How pretty, pretty, pretty. Lots of pretty colors in there. 780. Ooh, there's 136. That's the blue. Pretty blue. Look at that. So sparkly, sparkly. All right. 977. 519. 648. 3828, 814, like a cranberry color, 3855, 993, 3860, 498, 3811, 413. Okay. Oh, I got three trains actually. Oh, well, I wonder why. Let's see here. 3371 is a really, really dark brown. There's another 3371. And there's a 310. And a 310. And a 310. <laughs> oh, 939. 938. 798. All right. So, less 310s than I thought there would be. But, uh, two bags of that, dark brown. 
gonna be a lot of dark, dark, dark. We live in the 310, 310 days of, of our lives, right? Okay. Here's some pretty fun colors. Ooh, 317 is a pretty little gray. 782. 562. 900. 155. 803. 947. Mm, 327? Yeah. 740. 3837. 742. 3823. Looks like butter. 741. 3814. That's a pretty teal. 550. 743. 340. 754. 948 and 758. All right, that's all the colors. Lots of colors. Lots and lots of colors. So many colors. Okay. The 10th. Sorry, didn't mean to rattle your brain there with the camera shake. All right. So here we have it. Um, I'm going to put the uh, description or I'm gonna put the, the link to the 10th doctor in the description of this video. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to um, leave those in the comments section and I'll be checking those out. Um, if this uh, canvas is not in stock at the time that you go look, make sure to enter your email address to be notified um, when it comes back in stock. If you're not sure how to do that, I will be sure to um, leave right up here in the in the uh, eye, in the top right corner, right there. I will leave a little link that you can click that will take you and show you, give you instructions on how to do that um, to get your email notifications from Diamond Art Club for things that come back in stock. So if this is one that you want, if you guys know any, like. Doctor Who fans, then I would, uh, this would be a really good gift, um, an awesome gift idea, so super, super fun, I love that, that they decided to pick this one up at Diamond Art Club, and, uh, my husband is super excited, he can't wait, he can't wait for me to get it done, I, on the other hand, am like, I love all the colors, so it won't, bother me to do this one even though I'm not a huge fan of the show but uh I'm gonna try my best to get him to work this one with me we'll see how that goes the way I look at it is I can sit on one end of the table he can sit on the other end I've got plenty of pins plenty of wax plenty of drills plenty of trays so yeah he can help me that's the way I look at it all right, guys, don't forget to um, give a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out the door. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the uh, new people that have subscribed lately. I see you guys. Hi, and thank you. Um, but, yeah, have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. This is Father's Day weekend, so happy Father's Day to all the daddies out there. And, uh if you do subscribe to the channel, make sure to hit the notification bell, ding, 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 to get notified the next time that I upload another video. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye.